everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. I just want to jump on today. Um, I've had a few requests or messages um, for me to do a tutorial online. So, well actually, live. So I decided that I would do that today. So I'm gonna be using, um, first I'll show you how easy it is for a design to come off of our board. So I'm just gonna spritz it with water. And what this does is just uh, softens up the paste. And I'm gonna use my board eraser to take it off. I hope you guys have had an awesome day today. It was so beautiful today. Definitely um, nice to be outside today. So I'm just uh, gonna wipe this off. And if you guys have any questions, um, you know, while I'm doing this, feel free to post your questions and I will answer them for you. So I'm just gonna take this off. This was one of our um, monthly transfers, our craft club, our monthly craft club. Um, this is our monthly transfer, so I decided that I wanna change this up. That's how easy it is with um, the products right because you can change up your designs whenever you want to redecorate your home so I'm just gonna wipe it off I'm just gonna spritz a little bit more just wipe it clean then I'll show you guys I'll hold up the board and you can see that um, came nice and clean and clean and ready for the next design so I am going to I'm gonna fuzz I haven't used this transfer before so it's a brand new transfer so I am going to give it a fuzz and what the fuzzing does it takes off some of the adhesion from the back so it's easier to remove from your surface aside so these are reusable and they are um, silk screen so it's fabric okay so um, all you have to do is after you use them put them in a wa uh, water wash like a water bath and you're good to go I should have had my water bath here but I didn't think of that so I'm just I'm just using um, a cloth a dish cloth to fuzz you can use any kind of cloth that you have um, at home we also have fuzzing cloths that uh, we have available I have available on my uh, website so I am going to I'm hoping you guys can see this I'm gonna just um, no, too low I'm gonna position it good so I'm gonna be using oh, I've seen, you're gonna want to take out all of your air bubbles so if you have air bubbles especially um, with the screening but like underneath the screening it'll create um, air bubbles so your paste won't go through all the way so I'm just gonna flatten that and I'm just using my squeegee and you'll know you're getting them out because you can hear little pops. Just gonna do that, get them all out. I just want to thank you guys for your follows 
It means a lot to me. And I love getting your questions and your comments. So keep them coming. Okay, so this is good. So I chose two colors today. So these are water soluble. That's why they're so easy to come off of um, our boards. Okay, so these are water soluble and I'm using grayish and a um, shimmer silver. So I'll put the wording in gray. I'll show you what's backwards. I can't figure out how to do that. I'm gonna put the wording in gray and I'm gonna put the little accents in shimmer silver. So I'm just gonna give this a stir. So sometimes if you don't use your paste often, actually this is not bad, it will get a little bit thicker and you want it to be the consistency of um, like sour cream. So I'm going to and spritz it and this is distilled water so you don't want to use um, tap water because it will as one of my friends said today um, it will you will create a science experiment in your paste so you will grow mold because of the chemicals in the in the um, tap water so you want to stick to distilled water okay and you can see that it's getting thinner so I just want to do a little bit more Okay, so this is the paste. We also have ink. The ink is used on um, fabric, uh, glass, ceramic, um, anything that has to, like tote bags, you can use it on tote bags. So anything that can be heat set. So um, the glass and ceramic you would put in um, the oven. And then any fabric, t-shirts or anything like that that you're doing, you would... Um, heat press them so with an iron or I have my Cricut um, heat press which I use which is really really quick but it definitely works with a, just a traditional um, iron Let's see. I'm hoping this combination looks okay well, if I don't like it I can just uh, take it off and change up the color there you go that aside and I'll start I'm gonna use I'm actually gonna use my mini squeegee because the words are quite close together and I don't want to overlap them so I've had um, I've had a few um, inquiries about the business um, so I'll tell you that I started this definitely just as a hobby um, I was a big, I am a big crafter, um, card maker, scrapbooker. Um, I love doing uh, multimedia in my journals, multimedia journals. So when I saw this, I to my already crafty life. So I just found that, and I was also a big Cricut user. So I loved using vinyl, but it is, vinyl is quite expensive and it's not reusable. So once I did my design on Cricut, I had to throw away my tra my stencil or my, um, my vinyl, whatever I had left over. So I found that being able to use, reuse my transfers, it made more sense to me but then um, you know I was talking to people and I thought you know why not I have some time on my hands and I've always wanted to start my own business so I thought I'd um, start running this as a part-time business and that's what I do I run it as a part-time business the commission um, compensation plan is amazing one of my um, Uplines was a photographer for local, uh, for their local high schools, and she ended up losing her job. So now, 
so then she started um, with farmhouse signs so she started doing farmhouse signs um, out of her garage and trying to sell them in uh, the local uh, boutique like a women's boutique so that eventually became something full-time for her and now she is making I mean she's not allowed to tell us or tell me what she's making but she is making close to um, six figures a year so it's definitely the opportunity and the potential is definitely there and you know if anyone is interested in learning more you know give me a shout I would love to share more of the business opportunity um, with you you know you get 40% off I thought you know 40% off of product right off the bat why wouldn't I even as a crafter I that's basically the reason why I wanted to um, start my designership become an independent designer was because of the discount 40% off right off the bat and uh, that's it so eventually it became a business which I am so happy about okay so I'm just taking off um, the excess here okay so I am going to do my silver and I'm going to use this as the multi tool this is um, like small enough to get into the small spaces so you want to work quickly I think I was talking too much and uh, I might I might have uh, wasted a little bit of time here you want to work quickly and get um, the paste down and transfer up before it uh, dries up because it will it will pick up the design from underneath but if that happens no worries we just uh, go over it one more time okay so I'm gonna do this And you can see very, very little of the paste and uh, well, ink also goes a long way. There we go. So I'm gonna lift this up now and put that there. So when you're lifting up your transfer, you want to grab it and lift straight up to the sky. That way you're not um, stretching out the fabric. Oh, this is beautiful. This is one of the boards that I definitely change up often. I have this in my kitchen. So whenever I feel um, I want to change up a little bit of a design, this is the one I go to. There you go. Quick and easy. Okay, so that was it. I just wanted to jump on, show you a quick um, um, tutorial on how to do it. I know I post my videos, but it's nice to go live and show show the tutorial live. But anyway, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, shoot me a message. If you're interested in learning more about um, becoming an independent designer, definitely.